The other day I made an announcement of the appointment of General John W. Bessie as Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. We have two more announcements to make this morning that I'm very proud and happy to announce. The first is that as Chief of Naval Operations, it's Admiral James Watkins and the Chief of the Air Force will be Captain Charles, or Gen General, I was, that was Freudian, I was a captain. <laughs> General uh, Charles Gabriel. These men have great records of service to their country, and I'm more than proud and confident of what this is going to mean in the caliber of our armed services. We have these gentlemen serving, and I shall certainly be seeking their advice every opportunity. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Secretary. I know what the photographers were wanting, General. And they were motioning there. They don't like gaps. They want to see the Close it up. Mr. President, any new uh, word on whether Mr. Brezhnev meant that he was going to put missiles in Cuba? No. I, as I said yesterday or the day before, we're, uh, we're, we're studying all the implications in that. But. Uh, as I also said then, we have an easy answer. If he really means he wants a lessening of the tension over nuclear weapons, well, all he has to do is join us in Geneva in the elimination of nuclear uh, intermediate range weapons in all of Europe. Has Secretary Weinberger come up with some efficiencies in the defense budget that the government could be passed? We like to think we have, yes, and we've reported those to the Congress. Is that going to result in significant? Well, there have been significant savings already, which the Secretary in his quiet way just made without uh, grandstanding about them, or the budget would have had bigger figures right now that they would have had to ask for. But in addition to that, uh, there is, we have appealed to the civilian sector, the business and industrial sector, for task forces who are going to be able to come into all of our agencies and Oh, all the way down into those things that it would be impossible for just one person in charge of an agency to see and find out where there are areas that modern business practices might update and make more efficient uh, government operations. Mr. President, I, is there anything else you can do about Poland now to relieve the tension there or to secure... Uh... Anyway, as to whether there are additional things that we can do, but we're going to do everything we can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we brought here guys, and here we have, we didn't have a they just fell out. So you brought that to us. Those were all sorts of things. Yep. And that's the that's what we need to do. So they sent us a B-17, and it was all chalk marked up inside and everything, but the fellas out there at the air wing decided to do a few trips around California, and it was flying around, and one day, one of them sent a, a chief of the ground crew at one of the air bases where they landed, he says, hey, what the hell are all these, these chalk marks, what do they mean? The crew chief looked at him, he says, this plane is unflyable. <laughs> Defects. <laughs> uh, uh, static display. 